Fellas, what is up? I got bamboozled. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, here we go. Okay, the damn thing's bleeding out the glands and everything else. Okay, I bought this pump off of eBay because it was the only pump that I could find that I thought was made in America, which was dumb of me from the get-go, right? Like, what am I thinking? So I paid $27 for this 130 PSI pump. And uh, the reason why I turned down all the ones on Amazon is because... Well, they're all made in China, and uh, Chinese manufacturers are flat-out liars. They'll have right in their description, 160 PSI pump. Then you look in the picture, and it clearly shows 0.4 megapascal. This one's 0.9, which is only 130. So, 130 PSIs. So, if you see a pump rated at 160 on the title, and then the body claims 0.4 megapascal, I mean, come on. Oh. I don't know. I don't know why this guy's golfing here. I guess this is supposed to mean that thing puts out that much pressure, too. Son of a... You're kidding me, right? That's the kind of pressure they're getting out of this thing on this golf course, huh? Man. All right, well, we'll see here. I, I highly doubt that uh, any of that's possible. So this guy is just... Man, he's creative, isn't he? But... Uh, I don't know who this is or even how to find out, but uh, I, I had to give him a bad rating because he tricked me. Don't put this USA crap on here, buddy, and then I get this non-UL rated piece of junk. I mean, it's I don't know that it's a piece of junk, but all the reviews on Amazon about every one of these pumps, every brand, some of them will say it works great. But then you all of a sudden you get one that's it lasts 30 days or it, it caught my garage on fire. Or, I apologize. I'm an idiot. I'm beating these guys up pretty bad. There is an arrow. Man, am I getting that old? Yep. I'm slipping, fellas. I need some more lights in here, dude. Jeez, it's freaking dark. The, um... Uh, pump hooked up to my oil pump rig here. I'm just using the PWM and this transformer to uh, check this thing out. The voltage gets pretty high. I need to uh, make sure I'm not going over volts on this. This is like an 18 volt transformer, so I need to dial in the voltage real quick to make sure when I turn this on it's at 12 volts. And then we're going to look at this pressure gauge to see if this thing in fact does provide the uh, 130 PSI's. Alright guys, so I got this thing on cycle here. With no load per se, it, it pulls about 1.3 amps. DC. And uh... We were only able to get 80 PSI out of this thing. And uh, I don't know if that's part of the cutoff switch or not. So I'm pulling four amps, I'm gonna turn it up to the rated six. So uh, nowhere near the rated pressure. I know I'm overvolting it. I'm about ready to burn up this damn pump, guys. We weren't getting any amps there for a second. It's got a fairly substantial flow. Way more than what I need. So it is the pressure switch. I screwed that center screw down all the way there. And it ain't giving me nothing. It's giving up on me here. So, okay, here we go again. The uh, pressure switch has been disarmed. I'm pretty sure this is a normally on. And when it overpressures, it's off. So at 120 PSI, the damn thing sprays liquid out all over the place. So fellas, if you come across this guy here on eBay, uh, stay away from a man. He's pretty much lied to 494 people in my opinion Fraudulent a hundred percent of these things are alive. It seems like uh, you find a review of the guy You'll find good stars on everything five stars 
Then you find that one guy who actually hooked a pressure gauge up to it. Everyone has a guy who hooked up a pressure gauge and found, uh, yeah, there you go. Why would you put 130 PSI on there? It ain't no better. Everybody's a damn lion cook these days, it seems like. I just, I'm so sick of it, man. If you just write 80 PSI on the damn thing and call it a day for crying out loud. Unbelievable. Working pressure, it says. I seen fluid spraying out the side of the damn pump into the motor even at uh, 120 PSI. I don't think I'd call that working, would you? I'm going to be hooking that up to this bad boy tonight. This is uh, Chris's steam rifle for cleaning machinery and machine parts and things like that. Stuff like this. That's what I ought to do. I ought to bust this bad boy over there and spray it down. It's a freaking disaster. This would probably be a good uh, test bed. I can even show you guys how the thing strips paint. Right there, guys. I wrote that on there years ago. I built this transformer. There's uh, 18 turns on that bad boy. Giving us 18 volts. Because there's 120 turns on this bottom coil. Pretty cool how they did that. They intentionally made the primary on a lot of these transformers 120 turn primaries. So calculating the secondary voltage is just as simple as every wraps one volt, literally. And this is a diode array, a uh, high output diode array. It wasn't built for this pump. So it's just something I had going on. And at 18 volts, we were able to get 120 PSI's out of this. However, that was not working pressure. We had fluid spraying out of this thing all over. It's an epidemic on eBay, these pumps, that the lies. Like, uh, I, I've seen, seen them tout 160 PSI's. <laughs> and it clearly says 0.4 bar. This one's 0.9, or megapascal, I'm sorry. But uh, there you have it. We're going to hook this thing up to a steam rifle now and see if we can at least put it to work. If it'll work then we're okay. If it leaks a little bit, I guess I don't care too much about that.